Right, we're going to be doing the uh, Mini Art uh, European Train Diorama Base. This is the base that's supplied in the kit. Now, I'm not going to diss it because it is a perfectly good diorama base. Uh, I did sort of, uh, in my last video, I did sort of show a little bit of concern over these nipples that are sticking out. Can you see them there? Well, I've taken a few off with the scalpel blade. It doesn't leave a hole, so it would be a very good base to paint and to display your, tra your tram on. So I'm not gonna diss it, because it's a very good little base. But I want a slightly larger base, and that's what we've got underneath at the moment. So I'll just put that to one side, but we're gonna, I'm gonna be using this uh, as reference for track sizes, what depth they've got, I'll just be using that as a as a reference, that's all. What I have here is a piece of MDF, it is 6mm thick. Now on my last uh, diorama I actually poured uh, casting resin on the top to get a flat surface. This time I'm fixing directly to this piece of MDF and I'm actually going to trim it up because this is actually going to go in a, uh, a case later on. Now, 6mm MDF, it's 200, uh, no, sorry, 450 long, and it is 280, yeah, 280 in depth. The reason that is, is because that is the maximum shelf well I've actually got about 300 on the shelf but by the time I put trim on that would just fit onto a shelf in my display cabinet so that is the reason why it's that depth now I'll go back to the mini art one uh, they suggest that you display it that way with the tram at the background uh, with these uh, overhead uh, poles for the electric cables at the back and your passengers and that at the front. Uh, I'm turning mine around. I would like to do a slight angle on the track like so. Uh, my two poles at the front so what I should be doing, I'll be creating a footpath here, where these two poles are. Then the tracks will be set back at a slight angle, uh, like so. Uh, because I want something in the foreground. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a, a, some building front or something like that. So that's basically what I'm going for. Now I'll remove that again. And those can be painted. Alright. For the tracks, I have got some styrene. Uh, this styrene is 1.5 by 4 millimeters. Now the 1.5 is the width of the rail. I've already checked it with me uh, little Learning engage, I've checked it, made sure it's the right size. And also it is just gonna stick proud enough for my blocks, which is happy days. And in real terminology these blocks are actually lifted up. They're slightly ramped towards the uh, tracks either side. So that's what I'll be doing and that will give me just enough track above the level of the uh, blocks. So what I'll be doing is I've got two marks here which is going to be in my footpath area. Then I'll be gluing two pieces of this down which I shall do in a very few minutes. Four pieces actually to make to make my tracks and then I will start doing all my block work 
So, I'm going to knock the camera off, but I'm going to get them glued on because you don't really want to see me gluing bits of plastic down because we all know how to glue a bit of plastic down. So, I'll get them marked off and then I will come back and we'll start looking at how to lay the blocks out and everything else. Right, I've got uh, the two tracks on. Uh, I had to sort of put a line of super glue down first, let it dry, and then put another line of super glue down because the MDF just absorbed it straight in. So that's done. I've got my line here now. This is my curb line, which I will be starting very soon. But first, I'm going to give it a cup of coat track of uh, this is MIG uh, track rust so I'll give it a couple of coats of that and I think I've still got a little tiny bit of the true metal I've got enough there uh, and I should just take a little bit across the top of that just to bring it in silver and then I shall get started on the block work Right, the tracks have had a coat of uh, MIG uh, track rust. Also, I've given, uh, if you can just see there, yeah, that's a bit better look. I'll give them a coat of uh, the AK True Metal. It's just brought them up nice and shiny, like they should be, well used. Uh, the next stage is I'm going to run a curve edging. All the way along this line here and also we're probably going to put a couple of these drains in as well so that's going to be my first uh, task so I shall get on I'll turn that round this way because that's the way it's going to go so I'm going to run my course of curb agents all the way through here and we'll start getting this all all block worked out Okay, we've I've put the uh, curb edgings in, and I'm going to sort out for the blocks. Now I'm going to bring the camera in a bit closer because I've made a little bit of a boob here. Well, not actually a boob. It's just that these posts, uh, wherever they're gone, these are electric posts. Now, I'll bring the camera back out. How they stand, they stand quite close to the side of the tram to get this electric cable onto them. And I've done it the shortest distance, but in the process, uh, my blocks don't work out properly. I've got like a half cut when they're pushed up I've got virtually a half that goes in the back here so I'm going to do, be doing a lot of cuts along this edge which I didn't really want to but it's a case of having to because we're not going to see that from the front of the diorama but we're definitely going to see the cable being central to the uh, tram so it's one of those things and it's it's easy enough to get over. I'll bring the camera back out and I'll spin this round without causing too much devastation. Move a few things. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start laying some blocks. Now, I'm going to run off the mini art uh, what they've actually done with theirs, as I would say that is correct and how it would be done because they would have researched it all, so it saves me a lot of mugging about. So we'll be running uh, all the blocks either side, filling in the middle. Two, cor two courses that side and it'll be three and a half this side but it will have some drains in it. 
which as you can see I've already here's ones I prepared earlier I'm going to put two drains in there and the manhole's going to go up there somewhere so I'm going to carry on and I'm going to get my blocks set out and sorted out and uh, I'll come back in a minute and see how far we've got right uh, what I'm actually doing here is I'm running four courses from the line down to the curb edgings uh, the simple reason is I'm doing that you would have two or three courses running this way uh, to make your uh, drainage area now if I just bring that into shot on the mini art one they've got one in the center of the rail and two on the opposite side so it's working correct but I'm running all four of these courses together I, I'm, I'm taking them along together so I can do the cuts so I haven't got loads and loads of cuts all just to do I can just do them as I, as I go along uh, I've got the first drain in and the second one's going to be up this way a little bit more but uh, I shall con keep continuing on with that and get that all filled in and then I'll come back and we'll get started on the inside right I've come to a point now where I want to put a drain in now as you can see I've worked all the way along with the blocks now these drains are really good because they just they are made to measure now if you put it up against one of the blocks at the top and then just carry on filling in around it like so I shall leave the camera on you while I do this a little bit What I'm actually doing as well, uh, I'm actually dipping these uh, blocks instead of putting the PVA onto the base. Uh, I've got some PVA, the lights are not too bright. I've got some PVA in here and I'm literally just dipping bottom of it in it's a lot quicker and it's I think it's a lot more efficient right push that one in it doesn't want to go in right that one's in so all we do then is a little bit of PVA well, you can put it on, put it on there. You can do it wherever you like. It's totally up to you. And then just position your drain in place. Uh, that leaves a half, which is one there. Look, will that go in there? Yep, there we go. Nice and snug. Oh, you didn't. Uh, have you in shot then? Put that way in nice and snug. And then you just carry on with your coursing. On the other side. So that goes in as a full course, full brick. And then. It works right for the next one. So on and so on. And when you're doing these, don't worry about the glue oozing up between the bricks. If you just leave it, it does actually sink, as you can see back here. So I just 
Sto o dzisiaj Ergi Berjoin. Right, as you can see, what I've done, I've run these two courses in on the far side of the track. So we've got both sides of the track done with just a, a straightforward stretcher. Yeah. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the inside of the track. And in my hand I have some uh, 0 0.8 styrene. Now we need a gap for the inside of the wheel to drop into. So all I'm going to use is two pieces of styrene like this. And then I'm going to run the stretcher course this side and the stretcher course that side to match up either side and then fill in between then when we're finished we take that out and that will leave a 0 0.8 gap right the way along the inside of the uh, rail for the wheel to recess in in real life it would be a sort of like a L like a bit of boxing that they would have put in there but I don't think we need to go to them extremes so that will be my next task so that's going to go in like that and then my stretcher course will go against it like so you can see that I'm, I'm not even looking at the monitor so that's how it's going to run so I'm going to get on with that and uh, I'll come back in a little while and we'll have a little look to see how it's going Right, another quick little look. Uh, I've got well over half, well, well over halfway, and I'm just going to pull these plastic strips out. There's one, and there's two. And as you can see, hope you can see, left a nice little channel for the wheels to run down. So I shall move them along. To the next bit, and uh, I will finish it off. So I just thought I'd let you see. On to the next bit. Right, this part of the track has been finished, as you can see. I've filled in between the two uh, lines, right to the end. Now I'm going to turn my attention to this bit here along the front here because uh, this is going to be a footpath and there's going to be pedestrians getting pedestrian, pedestrians getting onto the uh, tram I'm thinking of just running uh, another line of curb edgings the full length and then just block paving it uh, when I put it on to a board, I think that's going to give it a, a reasonably nice finish. As for the back half, uh, I've got this little picture. I found this picture of a shop, which I do quite like. say so what I'm thinking is doing so much road and as this has got a path at the front do a path then do at the back something very similar to that that's only thoughts at the moment it's only thoughts but uh, what I should do now changing the subject I shall carry on with this front bit and have a bit more of a ponder about what's going to happen at the bank there. So, next clip. It's not going to be uh, too technical. All I'm going to do, I'm going to glue uh, some more curb edgings right the way along this front edge and to this corner. And the same for that end, all the way down. Uh, bigger hand in the way and finish it off and then 
I shall fill and uh, with some debris, some rubbish, and then block pave over the top of it to correspond with the actual co uh, cobble road. Uh, that's going to be my next little project so I shall do a clip uh, just to let you see how I'm getting on with that. Right, I've uh, filled this piece in. Uh, I'm hoping that on the last shot, no, well none of this was in on the last one was it? No, no it wasn't, no, that's all. I'm just trying to think because it's quite a, a, quite a time between each uh, piece I do. I've had a soldier course in against the edge of the curb. This is just to break the block work pattern up for pedestrians so they can they actually know it's a curb there. So that's the reason why they do it. I've ran uh, a stretch course right the way through. I've filled it all in, done all the cuts all the way along the edge. So this is complete. I'm going to move you across because we finished that bit now. I'll move you across and over the back here I've measured from that point there to the inside of the kerb and I've transferred that distance over to there and I've drawn a line straight away across. Now that's where the kerb edgings will be going on there. I've measured 40 millimeters from the back of the kerb back that should give me uh, I think it's six courses six courses and a soldier course the same as on this side here and that will give me my footpath which will be finishing there uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to do a slow corner on this edge and I'm going to roll that round so the footpath goes off this way. Uh, this marking the inside, this is where the, what would you call it, a facade? Yes, I'd call it a facade, where we're actually going to put the building. And um, what I'm actually going to go for, I'm going for a shop. Now I'm going to do the door on the corner here, and then we're going to do a slightly larger window and another window coming back here so we're going to have a, a virtually a shop front right the way along this back edge uh, up so high with the signboard and windows above it and a part roof because there's I, w I won't get a full roof on on this little bit here so that is what I should be doing so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get this curb edging in and all the way around and then I'm going to uh, fill this in but I should get the curb edging in first and then I'll come come back before I start this and we'll just I'll just run through well this is not going to be no different to this side it's going to have drains in it two drains probably one about there and one coming up to this corner as they would have one this side and one over here but I think it's going to be a little bit too far back to actually put one in but I shall get a drain in about here on this corner and one roughly level uh, with this drain here and then I shall run the road in so I shall be back in a little while after I've uh, completed my little tasks Okay, right, I've put the uh, curve edgings in, I'm going to replace two drains there, just off centre, well you can't see them actually because they're off sharp, but they're just to one side of the drains that are on the opposite side of the road. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this in uh, with blocks. I should run three bl blocks wide down here as the gully for the drains and I shall go this way 
with the blocks. Now that's my next little project and I will come back so you can see how I'm getting on. Right, I've run all the uh, guttering, three courses all the way around down to the back because this is going to be the corner, this is going to be the path here. I've just put in a few courses uh, across, just a stretcher bond. Uh, this is going to be the other half of the road. So that's as far as I've got. So I shall carry on now. I shall get this lot filled in and uh, then I'll come back and I'll let you see what, how far I've got. Right, big and busy. Filled all this middle section in. Uh, I've done the extra bit of road that uh, comes into this onto the main main road, should I say? Well, it shouldn't be there, but that's the bit I wanted. I wanted to just do something a little bit different. Now this is all complete. I'm going to turn my attention to this back bit. Now I've already marked up for the footpath and as you can see I've got a piece of uh, brickwork there. Now that, if I place some bits and pieces like that in there and the block on top, it brings it to the right level. So I will be filling that in the camera will stop there. I shall be filling that in and then I should be starting work on this back facade or back backdrop whatever you would like to call it. I'm still thinking of going down a shop front on the corner with the door going across here at an angle. I'm not too sure yet. I'm, just, I'm going to sit down and get some paper and I'll have a think about what I'm actually going to do. So that's it for this segment uh, because in the next segment I'll be working on this this back bit. So that is it for this bit and I'll see you on the next bit. Thank you very much.